Hey traders, a quick one here on net gas, gold, silver, crude oil and I'm also going to go through two forex pairs which are USD, Japanese yen and USD, CHF. So starting with natural gas as usual. So as you can see the price is now in a process of a pullback in a downtrend. So I'm not getting excited with this bullish engulfing pattern because it is just a process of a pullback. If you want to get excited for your bullish trades, the only area I will look into enter my bullish trade is the zone below I've just mentioned which is right here which is 2.419 that goes into 2.493. Now if you remember in my yesterday's video I've said that I'll be managing my trade till 1.618 to retracement. So now if you pull up the Fibonacci tool in that case the 50% retracement will be my sell limit order if you want to enter in a very aggressive way with the hit of 50% retracement you have a sell limit order if that happens I'll keep my stop loss above and take profit is normally 1.618 retracement or use 1 ATR for your target initially and then manage till 1.618 retracement. Nice one. So exactly pushing lower as predicted. Entry triggered from 50% retracement and now heading towards the target I've mentioned in my previous video. So if you are still managing this trade, this is an area from where we can get a possible bounce or a pullback before the price will likely push to the level of support in green. Now a heads up here as well as now price has made a new low or I'm looking at another bearish engulfing candle to take another short trade. We can also get a possible retest of 786 retracement and then rejection and then a fall from 786 retracement as well if you want to trade aggressively. Now, if this candle, the current candle, close as a bearish engulfing candle, we have a sell signal. I don't want to see this candle a big, big engulfing candle. If that happens, I will not take this trade. I want to see a candle that close as an engulfing candle just at the previous candle only. If it's a big candle, again, I won't be taking this as a valid entry because it will then invalidates one of my rule to take my pullback entry. So keep an eye here. We can get either a rejection from 786 retracement or write it if we have this candle happens to be a bearish engulfing candle. In that case, we have a sell signal or if we have a good pullback below 50 EMA anywhere below 50 EMA in that case I will still go for short trade and I want to see bearish engulfing candle below 50 EMA to take my sell trades only not looking for buy until the price hit the zone below in green which I've just mentioned or if we have a dramatic push up above 50 EMA only then I'll start to look for my reversal trades. so it's not too far from the area of value so be patient if you're looking to enter buy trades once the price hit the zone I will not enter blindly I will still look for my bullish conditions like bullish engulfers or double bottoms 3A2 candles or hammer candle from the area of value. Exactly the same here on capital.com if you are trading on this platform. Have the zones ready. 7 x retracement is the area from where I'm expecting a possible rejection from. I've already mentioned these zones in my yesterday's video. Feel free to check my yesterday's video in order to mark these zones as well. So for now, I'm expecting a candle to pull back and forms a possible bearish engulfing candle. Once we have that, we are good to go short. Not taking any buy trades, only looking for pullback entries. And on this platform, the major area of value it is 2.482 goes to 2.564. Now don't get confused. If I get a condition on Oanda, I will still go for my long trade if I get a good reason to enter. Because if the price pushes up from here, it will also push up on the other platform but as I personally look for entries on Oanda and I've tested my strategies on Oanda if I get a candlestick pattern a signal here I will still go for my trades now right here on Nemex, if you are trading on this platform, the support area from where I'll be looking to enter my buy trades is 2.457 goes up to 2.556 from where I'll be looking to enter my buy trades. For now, the price is now retesting the zone if you are trading on this platform. If this candle closes the bearish engulfing candle, we have a possible sell signal and price will likely fall towards the next level. Not taking any buy trades unless we are below 50 EMA or once the price hit the zone only then I'll start to look for my counter buy trades. So keep an eye for the condition I've just mentioned. Next one we have gold. So gold is now in a major area of value is all time high and it is an area from where we can get a possible a big big pullback and it can still push higher and that is why it is very important when you trade commodities please have your stop loss there as well because in, in big news events we can get some moves that can also blow up your account so make sure you have your stop loss if you take your trades so for now at this point as you can see the price is now in a process of forming a double top pattern once the price hit the zone above and rejected from the zone forms a bearish engulfing candle in what it hammer 3a2 candle all these are my entry condition if the price forms this pattern within this rejection box the yellow box I've just marked the zone where the price is inside of it is 2034 goes up to 2052.99 an area if you were looking to enter or sell trade we still do not have any conditions once we have a conditions a double top red candle bearish engulfers 382 candle we are good to go short but I'm also looking for my double top entries on 
one hour time frame and I'm, i can see a clear double top pattern right here we are already have one top now we are in the process of a pullback and in a process of forming an, another top right here if we have a rejection i do not want to see a candle close above this box and this previous high if that happens we have a likely signal that price will continue to push higher so all i want to see a rejection followed by bearish engulfer a red candle 382 candle inverted hammers within this rejection box to take my short trade once that happens i'll keep a stop loss above this rejection box and take profit wherever you want to take it it's totally up to you i recently took the trade today for copper i've already mentioned that right here a nice double top pattern on four hour time frame i kept my stop loss above and i've gone 1.2 to 1 to reward ratio for this trade i've already mentioned copper analysis two days ago in my video so exact same conditions i'll be looking at here on gold once we have a condition we are good to go short and also i want to give you one example here where people got panic and they got scared because they did not enter their trades according to the risk capital and once they see this type of moves the price pushes up massively and then the candle close back down and just leaves the wick up there means we do not have any momentum in the market now it can still happen the price can still pushes up and then close back down so that is why it is very important to look for the conditions something like this if you have a conditions like this the wick can go above that doesn't mean that price is going to push higher and you start buying at the wrong place looking at a price is pushing higher and then eventually it push lower that is why please wait for the candlestick to form a condition and form an entry to take your possible trades next one we have silver silver is now inside of a minor level of resistance as you can see right here this level has acted as a level of resistance and support in the past so that is why I, I just kept this level here just for a possible pullback so i'm not expecting a big big fall from here but we can get a possible condition like double top or on one hour or four hour time frame we already got a double top pattern here on one hour time frame but as it is a minor area of value look for the conditions on four hour time frame once we have a red candle a bearish engulfers 382 candle in that case we can get a possible pullback 250 ema before the price will push up to the level of major resistance as gold is running faster and silver is behind gold so we can get a possible push down from gold and and then a pullback from gold and in that process silver can also push higher at this area of value which i've mentioned in my yesterday's video as well so keep an eye here look for the condition once you see the condition we can go for a little scalp for silver not taking any buy trades as long as we are below this previous low then we have crude oil has not broken above 50 and 20 ema and we also have this 382 candle that is a valid buy signal a candle a body is above 382 retracement means we can get a possible push up from here we can expect a one dollar to two dollar move up up out of crude oil and once the price hit the zone above a minor anchor which is right at 79.15 goes up to 80.90 this is an area from where we can expect a possible push down if broken above the zone above to take my reversal trades a major area of value is 82.11 goes up to 84.05 from where i'll be looking to enter my sell counter trades with bearish engulfers or double top condition inverted hammers 382 candles all these are my entry condition once the price pushes up for now i can see a valid buy signal we can get a possible push up from here and we're also getting a cross out of crude oil so let's look at the forex pair starting with usd japanese yen price is now pushing lower and we have a level of below price right here it is 144.73 goes to 145.56 an area from where i'll be looking to enter my buy trades with bullish engulfers or double bottom entry condition I, I won't be entering any buy trades doesn't matter if the price is pushing lower overbought all i'm looking at this area if the price gets to my area only then i'll start to look for my buy trades or if you have a dramatic push up above 50 ema only then i'll start to look for my pullback entry bullish for now only looking for some opportunity we have a nice bearish engulfing candle swing high candle we can have a possible push down that is likely to the level of support only that i'll look for my counter buy trades so keep an eye have these zones ready on the charts once the price gets to your zone only then look for the conditions to take your buy trades last one we have usd chf price is now getting towards a level of major support as well which is 0.8576 goes to 0.8677 an area from where i'll be looking to enter my buy trades with conditions like bullish engulfers or double bottom entry condition i also have the zone above which is 0.8 890 goes up to 0.8935 a zone from where i'll be looking to enter my sell trade if the price gets to the zone before it hit a support area if that happens i look for bearish engulfers or double top entry condition for now i'm only looking for pullback entry bearish if we get a pullback below 50 ema followed by bearish engulfers i will go short only not taking buy trades as long as we are below all the ema so that's it for commodities and forex hope you're getting value if yes please do not forget to hit the like button for me it really helps me in a youtube algorithm hope you trade green rest of the week see you guys in the next video till then take care